Hey guys, welcome back to Power Down. In this video, I put together some mods that were all released within the past week or so. I tested these on Minecraft 1.16.4 using both Forge and Fabric. I've had a lot of people asking if these work on Bedrock or Pocket Edition, but sadly, these are all for Java. If you're new to Minecraft modding though, I recently created a video where I show you how to install a mod loader and install your first mods. Anyway, let's get into the video. Festive Creepers are a new hostel mod which are part of the Winter Jam 2020 event. They're a new variant of Creepers, which will spawn in any biome during the month of December, although they can spawn in snowy biomes at other times throughout the year. When killed, these will drop firework dust, which can be used to craft firework crates and firework minecarts. They also have a chance of dropping a festive hat, which you can wear on your head. Betas adds a new type of fish to Minecraft which is the beta. These will spawn naturally in your world where they can be found with 28 different color variations. When you do come across them, you can collect them in buckets, although they'll become aggressive to each other. I think these would be great in an aquarium type setup. Also included with this mod is some new blocks and items. Moss balls are a new item which are similar to sea pickles, whereas dried leaves are a new item which can be crafted by smelting leaves in a furnace and are used to craft black water bottles, which can be used to heal your beta fish. Charms are new items which hold potion effects inside of them, giving a much longer duration. There are plenty of charm effects such as healing, speed boost, strength, night vision, and more, which can all be very useful. There are two ways to use charms, with the first being by simply holding a charm in your offhand slot. You can also use charm containers, which there are three tiers of. Each tier will increase the amount of charms it can hold, as well as increase the radius that the effect will work for. Aquatic Edition expands on the ocean content that was introduced in Minecraft 1.14. Firstly, there's two new armor types, which are turtle armor and skewt turtle armor, with the latter giving the dolphins grace and conduit power effects when wearing it which give increased swimming speed, water breathing, night vision, and haste. There's also some new turtle tools, which are as good as diamond and give the slowness effect. A few other additions include dolphin meat and fins, which can be both collected from dolphins, fishing hats, which increase luck while fishing, and ore fishes, which can be smelted for nuggets. Another large festive mod is Christmas Spirit, which adds many new items, blocks, and mechanics to your Minecraft world. When it comes to world generation, you'll find all the land in your world will be frozen, creating a winter wonderland type feeling. If you want some new items to build with, then you're in luck as there's plenty of new decoration items such as stockings, Christmas trees, lights, and garlands. At midnight, there's a chance for Jack Frost to spawn who you can trade with to receive Frostborn ingots, which can be used to craft new armor and tools. There are some other features included with this mod, such as being put on a naughty or nice list, where you'll receive daily gifts depending on your behavior. More boots will add 25 new pairs of boots to your Minecraft game, with each one offering some interesting effects. There's too many to talk about, but there are some I find really cool to use. A few examples are spider boots, which allow you to climb up walls. Glowstone boots will leave behind a trail of glowstone pieces, which will light up the area around you. If you wear up warp boots while underground, you'll instantly be teleported to the surface. There's also ender boots, which will allow you to teleport eight blocks in any direction. Golden Chorus Fruits are a new food item which can be crafted by surrounding a chorus fruit with gold ingots. When you eat them, you'll be teleported back to your spawn location, whether it be your bed or your world spawn point. Door Knocker is a simple mod which allows you to knock on doors in Minecraft, which might be useful for multiplayer servers which have a bit of role playing. By left-clicking on a door, a knocking sound will play for your friends to hear. Another mod that is a bit of a cheat mod is Save Gear on Death. 
It allows you to keep all the items on your hotbar and armor slots if you die, but you'll still lose any items that are in your other inventory slots. Mechanics is a new technology mod for Fabric, which is a huge work in progress. Currently, you can generate, transport, and store energy, but there's no real use for it yet. Using generators, you can convert coal into energy and change the input and output slots to store it inside of energy cells. I'm interested to see where this mod goes and what items you'll eventually be able to power. More tooltips will provide you with some very handy information when hovering over items in Minecraft. You'll find new tags such as durability, burn time, saturation amount, max stack size, and more. Particle rain will make a few changes to the weather system in Minecraft. When it comes to rain and snow, they'll fall a lot more gently and look thicker in general. Although one of the main features of this mod is that it also adds a new weather type to deserts which is sandstorms. Now, you'll see sand gliding through the air. Heart Bond provides an immersive way to teleport to your friends. By surrounding a nether star with four ender pearls, you can craft an ender heart. By combining two of these in a crafting table with soul sand or soul soil, you can create ender souls which will link two hearts together. If you and a friend then both equip an ender heart, you'll be able to teleport to each other by using the Ender Souls. Crazy Creepers adds 10 new creepers to your game, which is intended as more of a fun mod. There's the Diamond and Iron Creepers, which throw up minerals when they explode, whereas the Enchanting Creeper will enchant your worn armor and tools the TNT Creeper will send up a fountain of TNT when it explodes, which will all come raining back down before blowing up. Although the craziest of them all is the Mutant Creeper, which stands at over 60 blocks high. It easily towers over most things in your world. Bits and Chisels is a very useful mod which allows you to chip away small parts of blocks in Minecraft, which is similar to Chisel and Bits for Forge. With it, you can craft two new tools, which are the Iron and Diamond Chisels. By holding it in your hand and holding down the left mouse button, you can cut pixels out from blocks, giving them completely new designs. The bits will also be added to your inventory so you can easily fix any mistakes you make. That concludes this list. Check back next week where I'll be covering more new mods. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to keep up to date with my future content.